It's a good idea. You might as well commit to it. You've got a Dark Seer, a Tusk support. That pretty much means you want to fight. The best Bane. All right. Game number two here between Ehome and C Deck. Battery rune time. Ehome are going to go for a contest. Leading with the sleep on somebody. A lot of actually sees way more heroes than he wanted. Great ice shards. They're going to go for DDC. Already popping the shell. Grave Shiki. Stunned up though. Fisher. Light Strike Array. There's just not going to be enough right click damage there. And they didn't actually pursue the Dazzle either. So this may not be a kill at all. Gardner's got another ice shards coming up in three seconds. Big Nuke hits Lonim. He actually eats his way into the trees. Where's he going? I think he knows the ice shards are coming in. So he wants to try and hide himself. But Lonim still gets caught. Goes to the sleep deny. Not there. Light Strike Array now being placed on a Grace. The Fisher lands on all three, but it doesn't actually block Gressif in. So CTY will just give him a couple more harassment hits. This is still, like, they got the first blood, but it's just unfortunate. It's creeps of spawn, and C-Deck actually have to recade and take it. I think he knows, or he can at least sense. Snowball's coming in. RTK's gonna be there to defend. Double Fisher, Light Strike Array, the burst damage, just enough to get Shiki right before the Iron Shell is enough to kill the Lina. Boy, that Ion Shell being put on Garter pre-TP almost won that. blowing all of his mana and HP to get that one. Once again, we're seeing the phase boots build. Uh, middle lane, Shiki trying to get him. Snowball actually save him. They're going to try and pop CTY. Shiki, though, still hit by the Fisher, And they managed to get the Light Strike Array on Garter as well, which means Lottam, he doesn't actually get it. He has to run himself away. I'm really surprised he didn't commit for that kill on Garter, But he would have needed three more right clicks. Perhaps it's just two Oh, CTY, him and Garter, they're yeah. just out of vision of each other. CTY looking to get that surprise jump, and he's going to try and burst down Cheeky Garter. A little bit slow on the reaction, but will now be able to snowball. Lock in CTY, and Cheeky says, thank you, oh, no, oh, CTY! No. What a play there. CTY managed to pull out that stun in the last half second. Now they're going to try and nuke down R2K. Aggressive, running him down, but a good sleep. will actually stall him up. YJ, though, ice shards right on the money. Will block him and oh, he's stolen so much damage though. And aggressive will actually keep his Aegis still. Despite the damage that was stolen by the Razor, unable to turn her back around them. Now Q actually wants to go for more now. Gonna slow down Lana with the new familiar. Stun one, stun two, and now the rest of the team is here as well. Q turns around, throws out that burst damage. Mech will keep the Visage alive. And DDC, geez, C Deck just go from one hero to the next to the next. What a snowballing fight that was for C disengaging. They're going back to base and YJ's headed to that top area. Maybe if they can get a ward down here. Well, CTY instantly blink in. Walrus punch. Self fuel scepter to be able to dodge to this. Fiend script placed on Garter, but Lottam is now going to be the next target. Really can't save his uh, mid. That's now blink dagger for ROTK, but it's just a bit too late. C deck have already won the fight. We'll probably try and push down this tier two tower. Yeah, he's got a smoke, but I think it's a bad idea to use it right now. I don't think without any sort of follow up, he should be going for this. Because there's only a level 1 Echo Slam. Probably isn't worth it from the all in for this. Maybe they just get YJ as a result. Jesus, they're going to come in. Oh, back you back. Fisher not really on the mark there. Aggressive now comes back in. The Shadow Grave's going to run out. Do they have a stun? They really don't. YJ actually gets out. No, the tick damage. Queen of Pain actually got it with a Shadow Strike. The healing from the fountain wasn't enough. Pick off after pick off. I mean, I'm just seeing a repeat performance here. C-Deck find one kill, turns into another, another. RTK is going to come in for the Echo Slam. Goes straight for Aggressive. Only really locks down him and Gardner, but it's still enough to get a kill on one. Aggressive oh, he's just not going down. Lina. CTY now a three man vacuum with a call down over the top. One goes down. CTY is fortunately fast enough to stay ahead. GK actually comes forward. A little attack. bit more damage with the scream. But they only Radiant lost the Tusk there four, before you go. Uphill. Oh, right. Garter's actually wrapped up behind them, and I don't actually think they have a way to get out of this. As RTK is going to get spotted. Already RTK thrown up in the air. Lonum trying to make the TP out, but even that will not complete. Aggressive finishes off. Last bit of damage thanks to the Rocket Barrage. 7 to 15 now. C deck just took Roshan, they just got an Aegis, and now well set up, as you said, to take that outer tower. And Dyer's it's looking more and more likely that... Attack. Yeah, it's just bonus at this point. Like, late game, yes, you shouldn't fight without the wall, but... It's so hard for them to go high ground against Ehome's lineup, though. CTY can just infinitely spam. Garter, 
Trying to go for CTY. He's got the familiars following him up. Fiend scrape in the background, but a good back. He will stop that one. CTY throws out the Laguna blade to finish him off. But Yule Scepter actually dodges that Sonic Wave. There's still the missile coming in. Shiki makes the commitment for that kill. CTY will be hit by the missile in the end, but Shiki still can't go for it. Instead, maybe get a target. YJ, no, he goes for CTY. He really wants this kill, but the Shadow Grave is there, and now he dies instead. Oh, aggressive shot. to aggressive. He's diving all the way into the fountain. Here is Lottom. He's going to be able to control some of these heroes if there's buybacks. I think C-Tech are just overcommitted. He turns for Lottom, trying to finish him up. Will be able to get that kill. RTK, sleep up. Lottom's actually getting way now aggressive. He's just turning and fighting wherever he can, but the heals are up. Nobody's going to die here. C-Deck. Too far in. There's no other way to say it. All right. So Eho managed to turn that around. I mean... C-Deck went so far into their base, there wasn't even an objective at play here. No. They just... The Queen of Pain runs over here, the Gyrocopter runs all the way down. Stall and stall some more. RTK, he's gonna be targeted by Gardner, but he managed to get a really good Fisher. Fiend Scrape being placed on Gardner as well, but there goes the Snowball. Shiki looking for that Sonic Wave, couldn't really get it. In the background, they do manage to finish off at least the Earthshaker. CTY is dropping lower and lower, has the Yule Scepter. Needs to be able to dodge the damage incoming, but it's still not enough. Shiki will be able to finish him now. Lana is trying to get away from YJ. YJ actually is hitting like a beast. He goes straight for the Visage, tears him apart, and now moves forward. They still haven't taken an objective. They try to go for it now, but with a couple buybacks out from Ehome, they still keep their top Rax alive. Yeah, and C Deck finally win a fight though. That's yes. the that's the key here. So that they finally bolster their confidence. They're like, we finally yeah. made some strides. Like that was not for nothing. We got a we forced the buyback, we got a few kills, we took down their tier three tower. That's progress for them. It's not an ideal raw you should eat. Who's okay. the pick off? C Deck, they found CTY. Oh, he doesn't have buyback. Oh, dear. He's, he's done for it. Oh, that Sonic Wave actually hit the two in the background as well. Shiki's going to blink forth looking for more. They have the homing missile on Lonham, and they've caught ROTK. One pick off turns to three. None of them have buyback. And C-Deck, Mark, they're just going to go straight into the base if they can. There's no creeps available, so they got to get their mid wave coming forward. DDC, has he been caught? He's got a four staff. He's got to use this correctly. And yeah, he gets over the trees. Nicely played. And Snowball's still there, though. He's got no extra movement. The snowball won't land. The ice shards isn't there yet, but a blink forward walrus punch will be able to catch him. Shell grave on himself. See they have it surrounded him though. Will be able to take this later action. I think that might just be the game straight up. It's at very least going to be crippling Ehome with one laner axe and two laner axe going down. They stole the gem back. You gotta think of the positives, but I mean, what a way for Ehome just to lose double racks. They were so careful this entire game. They wouldn't leave their base. They saved for buybacks. And then in one fell swoop, C deck just get aggressive immediately, take advantage of the mispositioning by Ehome. Yeah, we talked about this. It's what happens with Ehome? Oh, jump in, Echo Slam. They're trying to change their fate, but I'm just not sure ROK RK can do it. YJ now vacuumed in. There it is, GG. One Radiant to one, E Home and C Deck results in a tie. That means there is a third winner of this game. Somebody who wasn't even part of the game's evil geniuses will take their first place slot. Kurt, in if group. you're watching, you had to play Techies to do it, so. No is worries. that really winning? Yeah, is that really winning? I love Kurt, so I can say stuff like that. Congratulations, though, to C Deck.